Want to make mooncakes but you're not a bakery master? No problem, I've got a completely beginner-friendly guide for you. And besides, it's very tasty. So how exactly do you make that? Well, let me show you. Today we're making the custard filling. In Chinese, it's nai huang xian, which literally means egg yolk and milk. So let's start with the egg yolk first. First, we will need to crack one whole egg and three egg yolks. To get the egg yolk, just crack an egg like normal and then let the egg white float out into a separate bowl while capturing the egg yolk in the shell. Just like this, egg yolk ghetto! Repeat the process for the rest, and then adding 65 grams of melted butter. Use your whisk to stir, or you can do it the Chinese way, like me, with chopsticks. Make sure the egg yolk and egg white are well combined so that there will be no ugly white spots later. Once they are well combined, adding 135 grams of milk. Obviously, I'm using the lactose-free version here because of the sing for being the Chinese. Oh, and a tip for you. Make sure the milk you just added wasn't too cold, otherwise there will be weird looms forming, and we surely don't want that and then just mix them all together, forming a beautiful, beautiful mixture. And then in a separate bowl, just adding 40 grams of self-raising flour and 100 grams of sugar. Mix them together. And then adding the egg yolk mixture while stirring. This will minimize formation of looms. Once finished, just run it through a sieve just to be safe to filter out any looms. And then put the saucepan on low heat while stirring all the way until it solidifies into a paste. For the first few minutes, you may not notice a thing and your hand can get a bit sore. If so, just simply remove the saucepan from heat, rest, and then continue. But it is important to stir while it's on heat to ensure a smooth, silky paste. As you can see, it will start solidifying eventually. It has now changed from being watery to an almost childlike mixture. You will know it's ready when it starts to come off the bottom of the saucepan. Pour it into a container. And then just use your silicone spatula to even it out. Place a cling film over it to prevent it getting dry. And really push it down to the surface of the mixture to force out any trapped air. Place the lid over, and it's ready to be transferred to the fridge. You want the filling to be in the fridge for at least 3 hours, or instead, you can make it one night ahead and have it in the fridge overnight. Up to you! 
When the fitting's almost ready, we can go ahead and make the skin dough, as well take 30 minutes to steam it once we have the mixture. To make it, first adding 35 grams of glutinous rice flour, and then adding 35 grams of ground rice flour. We want this one-to-one -one ratio because we don't want the mooncakes to be too sticky so that it's hard to chew. And then adding 25 grams of wheat starch ideally. But if you can't find any like me, then using cassava starch should be fine too. This is a very important step because the starch will give the mooncakes their translucent look. And then when you're ready, add in 30 grams of sugar and 18 grams of condensed milk. Don't worry about me. This is condensed coconut milk. I should be fine, but we'll see if I spend the whole day in toilet or not. And then again, 135 grams of milk, lactose-free version for me, regular version for you if you can enjoy the regular milk. Last but not least, 18 grams of vegetable oil. Mix them all together until you can't see or feel any lumps. and then transfer to a smaller bowl to steam in a rice cooker. To be safe, run it through a sieve like I'm doing to ensure there's no looms. And then put it in your rice cooker. If you don't have one, just use your saucepan and put it on medium heat for 30 minutes. While the steam dough mixture is steaming, we can take out our filling and make it into a bowl so that it's ready to assemble. Look how beautiful it is! Now use your knife to cut it into 12 even pieces. Because theoretically, this recipe should make you 12 mooncakes. Take one out and weigh it. Each piece should weigh around 30 grams. And then just use your hand to roll it into a bowl. Just like this. Place it into a container and then repeat the process for each. In practice, it only made us 9 mooncakes, but that's okay. Cover it with lid to prevent it getting dry. Time's up, but before kneading, let our skin dough cool to lukewarm so that we don't burn our hands. While waiting it to cool, let's roast 2 tablespoons of glutinous rice flour. This is to prevent the skin dough sticking to the mold later. And we are not using raw flour because there will be no further cooking involved as this is a zero oven baking recipe. To roast, just put your pan on medium heat for several minutes while stirring. When the dough has cooled, we can start kneading. It can be very sticky at first, that's why I'm using gloves, but it will get less and less sticky. After 5 minutes of kneading, it has become very much less sticky, and that's what we want. Look how pretty this is pinch out pieces from the dough and then weigh it each piece should weigh about 20 grams roll it into a bowl with your hands put it on a parchment paper and press firmly down with your palm And then use a rolling pin to roll it out into a thin, semi-transparent skin. Carefully pick up the skin and place it in the middle of your palm. Then put the filling right in the middle of the skin before turning them upside down. Here comes the hardest part. Use your fingers to narrow the bottom of the skin until it almost closes off. It's almost like you're making a shumai.
and then turn them back up and use your fingers to pinch the skin together. Roll it to form a ball to even out the skin. And then dust it with the roasted flour we made earlier. Shake off any excess flour. Now use your fingers to shape it into a cylinder. It doesn't have to be perfect, just enough to fit in the mold. Now carefully place it into the mold and even out the bottom. When it's ready, we can press down the mold and hold it for 15 seconds to establish the shape. And then we'll have a lovely, lovely mooncake. Look how pretty this is. In Chinese traditions, Mid-Autumn Festival is celebrated every year on the 15th of August, based on the Chinese calendar, which is a lunar solar calendar. And it is a day where families gather together to enjoy the beauty of the moon while eating tasty mooncakes. So for those who celebrated, I hope you had a very happy Mid-Autumn Festival.